Hi, welcome back to another quick guide. Today I'll teach you how to remove a person in Snapseed. And it's literally an easy process, so make sure to watch until the end of the video to know how it's done. As of my last knowledge update in January 2022, Snapseed doesn't have a dedicated tool for removing a person from a photo. However, you can't use various tools creatively to achieve a similar effect. So here's a general approach using Snapseed on Android. Step 1. If you haven't installed Snapseed on your Android device, you can download it from the Google Play Store. Step 2. Launch Snapseed and tap on everywhere to open the image from which you want to remove a person. Tap allow. Use the crop tool to adjust the composition of your image. This won't remove a person but can help you focus on specific areas. Snapseed's healing tool can be used to remove small objects or imperfections. Zoom in and use the healing tool to brush over the person or unwanted object. Use the brush tool and selective editing to apply adjustments to specific areas. You can darken, lighten or blur certain regions to divert attention away from the person which is not very applicable at all times. If the background allows, consider using the double exposure tool to add textures or elements that cover the person. Adjust the opacity to blend the added elements seamlessly by holding and swiping slowly to the left to reduce opacity or swiping slowly to the right to add more opacity. Step 7. The HDR scape tool can be used to enhance specific areas of the image, potentially making it harder to notice the person you want to remove. You can't choose any options here that can probably help to unnotice the person. Step 8. Use the details tool to fine tune specific areas. Sharpening or blurring is needed to integrate the changes seamlessly. Once you are satisfied with the edits, save your image. You can choose to overwrite the original or save it as the new file. Remember that Snapseed's tools are very very powerful, but the success of removing a person depends on the complexity of the image and the background. For more advanced object removal, you might need to use desktop software like Adobe Photoshop. And that's all for now folks, hope you like and subscribe, thank you.